Testing, testing. Mm, okay, looks like it's working. Monitor off, and there we go. Okay, so uh, good evening, everyone, or good night. Yes, you don't start with good night, though. Um, but yeah, good evening, everyone. Looks like everything is looking good. So let's get started then. Okay. So tonight I'm going to be starting a new. Um, so it's been a while. Let's start with that first. It's been almost two months since my last stream. Um, but hopefully I should be able to come back now and stream more regularly again. We'll see. No guarantees. Uh, but for tonight, I'm going to start, start a new map. My favorite part of the game is always starting new maps. It's so much fun. But I'm going to try the new based out cluster, the forest cluster. Um, so let's just hop right into it. Let's see what kind of... So I'm going to go probably with my standard dupes, you know, one research, one dig, and one construction. Oh yeah, I also, now I'm looking at my replay, I added uh, there, no, up there. Oh. oh, weird because everything is reversed, but yeah, up there, I added a follower thing, which is new. Uh, try to reach, I want to try to reach the 50 follower goal, so I at least let people know. Okay, so that's... Get started. Builder, digger, and research. Very good. Okay. So I'm looking for someone building and digging. That's actually pretty good. Cormet, I eh, don't care. And that's actually, <laughs> that's actually pretty good starting like pretty early starting, but yeah, still pretty good. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the new camera and new mic, so if I'm too loud or something, just let me know. Uh, okay, and for digging, uh, nah, uh, digging plus operating? No, maybe. I like, I like my dupes having two traits, so I'm only going to pick dupes to have two traits. Increased medicine, not not good. So shriveled taste buds. I can't do construction. Eh, let's keep looking. Not creative. This is another construction dupe though. Uncultured, unempathetic. Cannot do increased decor. Hey, hello KMK. Oh, yes, I forgot. I did not switch transition. There we go. Thank you for letting me know that I very much appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. This should be much better. Now you can actually see me. I was pointing and just doing things. And Oh, yeah, I suck at this. But hey, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, so restart. So <laughs> I, I like picking my dupes with two uh interest so first one is someone who can build and a digging secondary and this one seems pretty good a digging primary with a supply secondary so they can run some supply errands and a research uh research operator is actually pretty good but i do not like narcoleptics so that's a no-go uh research farming mouth breather no, I don't like decorators. Ranching is not a good secondary. Don't like decorating. Requires like to sleep. Uh, irritable bowels. That's pretty good. Mm. Let's see. Pacifist. Uh, that actually is pretty good. I'll take this one. 
Uh, so essentially they'll do research when they're not the secondary to go run on the wheel. At, at the beginning, this is like something very helpful. They'll research when they run out of power, they'll go run on the wheel. And I don't care if they can attack people or not. So, uh, systematic home. Sounds good. So this should be the normal forest stop. Our forest start, so I'm guessing it's no different than the plane game. Yeah, we have pips, we have some polluted water, some actual water, and our food will be excellent. <coughs> mm. Oh, my throat. One moment. Mm, sorry about that. Okay. So let's get started. You know what? This aluminum. We'll speed it up. Okay. So let's start the shaft here. So by the end of the first day, I would like to have, at the very least, a bedroom and a washroom set up. For the dupes and I'll set that up down here so let's start with the bedroom and then I can start uh, actually yeah let's do that first priorities I need to assign priorities to my dupe so everyone will have a high priority for attack life support Buggling and I for doctoring. No one can do rocketry. I tidying. No one can cook. No one can decorate. No one can research. And no one can ranch by default. Okay, so that's the default starting attributes. Bert is supposed to be our. What does Bert do again? He's a building digger, so primary building. This is why I like to have two uh, attributes, because then I can easily just go, okay, well, your first pri priority is building, secondary is digging, and we're good to go. So now we have a good setup for fallback, essentially. Turner is supposed to be our uh, primary digger and secondary for supplying and running around. That's Good for him and gene is primary research so where is my research and the secondary was farming so okay there you go that should help keep things uh keep, keep people doing what they are good at okay so one two three We'll priority six that. Then I need to build those beds. And next we'll want to build the outhouses. One, two, three, four. With. Uh, where is it again? It's under medicine, right? Yeah. The, water, the basin. Put that there. This leaves me enough place with three basins and three outhouses eventually. Okay, and now we need to make our way towards the water, which will be over here. Once we get there, we can install a pitcher pump temporarily. There we go. People are going to run out of work to do soon. And it should be almost bedtime. Okay, so let's update the schedules. Four schedules in total. Separated into eight hour shifts for downtime. So we start with the night shift, which will have two slots for bed. And one, two, three. Uh, let's start with three slots. 
One, two, three, we skip two. One, two, three, skip two. Or do we skip one? Maybe I did it wrong. But we skip one, two, three. Two, there we go, two, two. Skip two again. There we go. Now we have skip two here. So this essentially will allow me to separate everyone into six slots. And as we progress, we can increase the downtime to include these two slots. But we don't need to do that right now. So let's move Bert over here. And Gene over here. And we'll leave Turner on the main one. So those guys don't get to sleep right away. Should be fine. And next priority would be to set up some power and research. So we can research station. Right here. With a little bit of. Power generation over here. So that and get that power. There we go. Now we have water, we can clean our hands, and we should be able to get power very soon. Now we need to find a place for this water while keeping everything else. Do we see anything interesting around here yet? Oh, there's a nice biome. That's interesting, but not very helpful right now. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That, so the starting biome, this is the starting biome? Doesn't normally have mealwood in it though, does it? I guess, yeah, it does. So no, it does. yeah, okay. Uh, so the starting biome seems to go all the way down here. There are some water pools down here and down here. We just have to Avoid this water joining with the polluted water, keep that separate from the rest, and we should be good to go. Oh, let's start researching. Oh, break? No. Ooh. So, always start with a great hall for morale, and then you don't have to worry about morale anymore. So, next would be... The room. Want to make ourselves a hall. So we go for right here. All oh, this should be fine. This should be 16. Put in some. Oh, no, no, no. Door here, here, here. Okay, so this should allow us to make a mess hall here. And the door here will put this into an actual bedroom, right? Yeah, barracks. Perfect. Keep that open. Same thing over here. Keep that open. Okay. Looking good. Don't we have... Okay, so he was sleeping. That's why there was no research going on. I don't have someone who has priority research, but, you know, he was busy catching some zeds. Okay. Close this off. And how big would this be, need to be? 16? All the way over here? Well, I don't like... It's so much quicker to just dig them out <clears throat> instead of trying to actually uproot them. Uprooting them just takes forever. Oops, are not good at that. Yeah, see? He researched, he went here, he generated, then he goes back to research. This whole thing is his. That's all he does. Research generates. Oh, should probably... Oxygen generation here is not using... 
uh, algae, right? I do not have any algae. Oxygen generation here is with oxyfern. So for that, I'm thinking I need to continue digging my pit. There's some oxalate here. Let's free up that oxalate and this oxygen. Oh, that's a lot of oxygen over here. Pretty good. And we can free up the pit over here. And start planting some oxyferns once we have... Uh, once the next research is done, that will give us uh, the planting boxes. But on this research gave us compost, which we can put in here once we have a floor. Oh, yes, I want to turn off the automatic disinfect. I do not care for them to disinfect things automatically. Okay, so there are some extra oxygen. Isn't your secondary priority for you to uh, work on oh farming not what really farming I thought it's supposed to be operating there we go I did that wrong oh you're idle you don't have anything to do huh that's the 16 right I need There we go. And this can be open and open over here, here, and here. Nope. Not only found our teleporter, it's in tome though, and it's freezing. Otherwise though, it looks good. <laughs> uh, that'll be fun to get to. There we go. I should give this the correct size for a latrine. And I can put in myself, uh, where's the refinement compost? Over here. New printing. I think this is our first printing, isn't it? So let's see what we get. Okay, so dupes. We have uh, Rowan over here. He's a uh, early bird, bottomless stomach. Uh, bottomless stomach, no good. Uh, Lindsay and Devin are also no good. So, pip eggs. That's sad. <clears throat> I would much rather have had a dupe. I'm not ready for a dupe, but I would much rather have had a dupe. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, work. update the priorities here. You are high priorities. And there you go. For this hexa fruit, I will. Yeah, no, I won't even bother. I'll build a. I'll, I'll build a tile here before I tell them to dig that like up manually. That's how much I don't like digging things up manually. Oh, we are out of things to do already. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Do we have the research? Yes. Okay. Farm tiles. I will start with four farm tiles right here, or three farm tiles. It's three. Farm tiles per dupe. Okay, so we'll start with three farm tiles. Uh, we have a lot of oxalate and trapped oxygen for now, so I think we're good. And I want to start building myself the hall. So one, two, one, two, skip two, one, two, one, two. There we go. And next research will be where is it? There you go. Advanced research. So we can go even further into the food tree because uh, that's what I want. There you go. And now we have a mess hall. We have a barracks. They're, the early game is now... We don't have to worry about having any 
uh, morale issues. Oh, did we not dig up a single oxyfern yet? No, we did not. Okay, farming is priority six. We do need to find some oxyferns to dig up, though. It's okay, we can leave the wild ones there for now. We don't need to dig them up just yet. Uh, we do need to start digging more, though. So, it's, uh, you're in my way. And dig this up all the way to over here. We can set up our second shaft here. Oh, it goes down all the way here. There, that's a, that'll be the second shaft, and we'll have a third shaft here. And I guess we can make the water go from here and go underneath. This polluted water piece here, that should work for now. Yeah, I think that should work. We have a little bit of uh, granite here and another. Oh, there's a cool slush salt geyser. So that's a, this is going to be a cold map. This is going to be very cold. Good. Water cooler. Look right here. We don't need the crafting station at the moment. I just really wanted that water cooler. Because I'm, my goal is to try to get to a great hall. So if I can get to a great hall, I can, yeah, have even more morale for my dupes. Get ready for new dupes. Okay, and now we can free up these oxalite. A lot of oxygen just stuck in here. So this little chunk of oxalite right there is going to be very helpful. Oh, I don't like it, but uh, yeah, first schedule. We need to turn off the alarm here so that we don't get that. It's, it's a pretty noise. It's just, you know, I don't need it. Uh, not everyone goes to bed at the same time. And let's pick all this up. And this is all dirt, so it's not going to fall or anything be good and we can start digging our path here still don't have any oxyferns or just not a priority burner as a fly okay but he has a lot to dig which is why he's not doing this hmm. So let's take a break on digging for a little bit so that he can catch up on digging and then we can have some oxygen production. We also now have access to super computers here and a skill scrubber, which will be here. There we go. Next thing we need to research now that we have the supercomputer back to foods and I like to go for having the hydroponic tile. Maybe not this time. That's like a standard thing I like to do, but I feel like I don't need it right now. I feel like a higher priority for me would be to get myself uh Uh, just some 
flower pots. Let's get some flower pots. Mm, he's gonna go bed. He's gonna go bedtime. Insufficient water, but oh, we don't have access to the water anymore. Let's uh, increase the priority of that one. Oh, we have a skill. Our first skill. And he is our digger. So let's get better at digging. Nope, there is right on time. Our researcher. Let's get better at researching. only three high. Didn't I say I was going to take a break on giving him dig orders? Oh, look at that. We do have our first oxy, oxy fern. But we don't have access to the water. There, now we have access to water. So someone should come and give him water. There we go. Perfect. I'll take care of. Oh, then we have our third skill for our builder. So that's Give them the appropriate hat, it'll make it easier to distinguish who has what priority. Okay. I'm guessing this whole water thing was in here, but it broke for some reason. Probably an oxalate. And that's why it's in both of these, instead of just in here. It makes sense. It's about the same size as you would expect the other bubbles to be. So, ethanol up here. That looks like water, but I would not recommend drinking it. It was, sounds like a very bad idea. Okay, so now we need to add in some flower pots, and that will make this into a great hall. That's all that's missing to make this great. Uh, there you go. Okay, so that's four. We're gonna dig very much down. Four. Uh, four. There we go. That's almost to the bottom. That should allow us to see a little bit more what's going on down here. Oh, there's a hydrogen vent. That's going to be good for some power source. And so this should allow us to see a little bit more, more what's going down here and give us a way to join up all the water into one location, which will be down here. We broke into here. Running out of ox, there's another oxalite patch here with 6.5 kilos of oxygen. So we still have another batch of oxalite up here. This one's still not all used up. We have plenty of oxygen left here. And we have a small one here also. So we still have plenty of oxygen left in the environment to dig up. And obviously, all the carbon dioxide will be turned to oxygen eventually. So let's see what we have here. This is all solid, right? There's no oh, sand. So we can dig underneath here, let all the water fall down, go here, fall down into the pit. Get rid of that so that all the water falls down appropriately. Well, I wanna make sure all the water falls down. Centralize that. Let's see what we got here. Ellie. Farming and sewering. You're allergic. And you are biohazardous. I do not want to make allergy pills. So. Yeah. No. A shine nymph though. That's good. Get me a shine nymph. 
These guys produce uh, radiation, right? Yeah. Mostly safe radiation. So, okay. These guys produce mostly safe radiation also. And they also produce cold. Seven, ten, twelve. There's quite a bit of radiation down here. Oh, we are out of tasks for them to do. Okay, so now let's start digging the path for... Oh, this is getting out of the starting biome. Can't dig this. Now, uh, where's the floor here? Good thing we have the digging skills for that. So once this is all dug out, we can break this so that all the water... All the water... Oh, there's some chlorine stuck in here too. Oh well, we'll let all the water down here into the centralized pit. And let's dig out the centralized pit a little bit more. That'll free this little shine bug guy and it'll allow more carbon dioxide to settle down. So we'll settle down here for the centralized pit of water and we can put... <laughs> I do not remember a green plant an arbor tree here, guys. Huh? Huh? Betting it was you. Uh, I'm still betting it was you. Gonna open all the... Yeah, see, now you can go down here. I'm opening all the doors so that they can't keep walking down like that. There we go. Okay, we're gonna break open the pit a little bit more. And let's do our next research. Go into batteries. Let's start doing batteries. All the way to fancy batteries. We still haven't gone on our fourth dupe. Come on, I need a good dupe. Mm -hmm. There you go. I brought down my voice a little bit. Let's see. I feel like I was hitting the red mark a lot. And uh, I don't know, maybe this is better if anyone has an opinion. But uh, I brought down my voice a little bit. Hopefully that does not. Uh, that sounds better. Apparently we can't build that there. And now we have some people with hypothermia. That's okay, they'll live. Hopefully. Okay, so now we dig this out. Build these ladders. Are you the one with hypothermia? Yeah, you're not you're not very happy, Turner, are you? But you're doing okay. There we go. Next, we will dig this all out. <clears throat> Should it... Be looking to put that there, and then we can remove this eventually. Looking good so far. We have. A lot of a lot of uh, oh, it's built. It's built. Research complete for my batteries. Oh, we can't reach here anymore. That should help with that. There you go. Now most of the water is centralized in one nice location. Good. Cool. Now next objective would be to dig out the rest of the map. 
Let's finish this. Uh, yeah, after this last charge of the battery, we're gonna disable this building. And once we're out of the battery here, we'll replace it with the bigger battery so that we don't lose any. Potential. Okay, let's uh, dig up over here. I'm going to be moving the oxy furnace from up there to down here. We should be able to. Or here with some ignis rock. Still my most populated one. There we go, coal generator plus a uh, small solid oxide energy tank, wood burner. Not that I think we have any wood, but uh, do we have any wood? I don't think we have any wood. Okay, so this is, we're pretty down south here. This is the, uh, the hot layer here, right? Oh, it's not so hot, it's only 30 degrees. But this is like the magma biomes, like down here, I guess. So, yeah, we, we spawned quite a bit south, or at least this is portraying quite a bit north. Uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, this has real iron. So it's actually a really easy way for us to get some real iron and a lot of coal. Um, so it's not that warm, it did melt the brine though, but that's heating up slowly. Oh, okay, so let's destroy that. Uh, build those. Right now, I would expect to have more dupes, sadly, but uh, no luck so far. Let's mop some of this stuff up. Okay, now we have our bigger batteries. Put that there. And, well, we don't want to enable that just yet. We want to build the batteries first. There we go. Oh, you are so happy. Okay, now that that's fixed, we should have a priority seven on that. And now we have power again. Woo! Okay. Look at that. These oxy furs down here are so happy. Let's uh, spread that happiness, okay? okay? So I guess next we should... Go up. I thought I saw something up here. My brain's playing tricks on me. Or, or. There we go. Uh, start really digging through this hole. Starting biome. As much as possible, I do not want to dig the oxalite because that reduces the amount of oxygen we can get from them. But I want to dig as much as I can. We also Look out for anything that has uh, cracks on it. Uh, maybe it's less common here, like that. Uh, buried objects. We want to dig out the buried objects. Good so far, though. 
I don't see any buried objects acting as floors just yet. So that's good. Pinch of plant. And oxyburn. So what's everyone doing? Delivering, research, and digging. Yeah. Okay. Looks pretty good. I just really need more dupes. I need to be maybe less picky about the dupes that we uh, print. Maybe. I don't like that idea though. I like being picky about the dupes we print. There we go. Let's find out if we get anything good. Oh, Joshua. Ranching and operating. I like that. Let's see what you have. Animal lover. Yokel can't do research errands. That also means you can't research research errands. Oh. Oh. The problem with Yokel is that you can't select any of the research free for skills. So it's not only you can't do research, you can also not do, like, this guy can't <clears throat> do any art. They can also not gain any art skills. So if, you can, if you're a yokel, you can't gain this, which means you can't get the good rocket piloting. So... That does kind of suck. It's not as bad as in vanilla because in vanilla, if you can't, if you're a yokel, you can't get the good rock, the good uh, suit wearing. Suit wearing was dependent on being able to research. So that sucked even more. Uh, but I guess maybe he'll just never be a rocketeer. And you know, you can't be smarter. Science helps with learning skills. It's a pretty bad trait. Even if you never intend anyone to do research, it's still a pretty bad trait. And you can't do digging, so it's more. But you would be such a good rancher slash op such a good rancher. Such a good rancher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need another dupe anyways. My standards are a little lower. Not perfect. But we can get ranching pretty quickly. So once we finish this, we can start researching ranching. Uh, so Joshua, your priority is ranching with a secondary in operating. Welcome to the club. Mm, I wonder who planted this. Mm, mm, mm. Yips. Such a pain. Really need to uh, strip mine everything and be like, before you can, uh, like, not only strip mine, but replace everything with tiles, or else they'll just keep planting and planting, and it'll never look nice. It'll never look nice if pips have their way. Okay, we're doing good on oxygen here. We're good, doing good on digging. Food is in the positive. We don't have any food production though. What kind of food production do we have access to? We have access to meal lice. Is that it? I think that might be it. We can have some nosh sprouts, some nosh berries. Beans, I mean, nosh beans. But they take ethanol irrigation. So I guess I would need to tap into this ethanol to start, or this ethanol to be able to start making some nosh sprouts. And then I could turn that into tofu and that being our source of food for now. I actually have never done that before. We do have some ethanol. Might as well use it. Power isn't the biggest concern right now. So... That's not the worst idea. What else do we have for options for food? Other than 
meal lice. We can... We don't have any way to ranch anything profitable for food. But we can't go barbecue just yet. We don't have any fish. And... Oh, there's a cool steam geyser right here. That's pretty good. Cool steam vent plus... Uh, Ooh, cool slush. Ooh, this is some uh, cool slush geyser and a cool salt slush geyser. This is some water. There's a lot of water here. This is very good. I like this. Oh, lots of water here. Oh, okay. So we have a nail dupe. Oh, lots of cold water here and, uh, and a warm water here. I wonder if there's anything else. And we have the hydrogen here, which is technically just free energy. Not really anything else to it. Okay, so you can't do anything right now. Oy, oy, oy. Had a busy day today. Uh, okay, so... What should be our next priority then? Yeah, food. Food should definitely be our next priority. I feel like we need to get this Nush Sprout. And start uh, tapping into. Don't oh, wine. Like, I've never done this before. So I can try it. I don't know how much. Nush. Sprouts we need. Let's see. It takes 21 cycles. And produces 12 Nush beans. Nush. We can. 12 Nush beans. And those can be made into tofu using, I'm just doing some math, but yeah. So if we put polluted water here, we can put our farm here. Should be okay. So let's see, we need to make this 18. And this would be where the next ladder would go. I can't dig that. No, 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 no. Oh, it went the wrong way. That's okay. The water stopped it. It's not going anywhere. It's just water. The water is stopping it from going anywhere, and now it's going to be... If anything, that actually helped because they got the water out of here and into here. I'm going to say that that was all planned. We had no corruption of our water, and now we have less water here. Perfect. Oh, yeah, this does come out at 500 degrees, though. Yeah, that is... Uh, I forgot about that extra challenge. It's not a problem right now as long as we don't break this because there's it's not going to pump anything else. It's already over full. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I can't break this open just yet. That's for sure. I will need to at least unlock steel before I can tackle this. That's for sure. Yeah, okay. I completely forgot this comes out at 500 degrees. It, is, uh, it isn't friendly, that is for sure. Okay. Oh, there's too much ethanol in here for me to be able to keep digging it. That's okay. Let's dig, mop up that water. Food poisoning from some hexa fruit. Okay. So we finally finished our research for the smart batteries. Let's uh, complete the research for... Um, Tables. That will be a nice addition. Okay. So once this is all dug out, or high, can't dig that out yet. I keep reminding myself of that. Is that all the ethanol in this little 
biome here. Yeah, so it's not that much ethanol. 20 kilos per cycle. So one ton will give me divide by two, divide by 10, 50 cycles worth of irrigation. So one block would give me, it takes 21 cycles. So the one block only gives me like 24 nosh beans. So this isn't that many. I don't know how much one nosh bean gives in food yet though. I haven't figured that part out yet. No, no, no. Oh, poop. Oh, ah. This is not the right height. Getting everything else here is not the right height. So this isn't the right height. This is not the right height. I mean, this is all not the right height. I mean, this is all not the right height. There we go. Okay, well, at least I noticed it early. Imagine if that would have kept, like that would have propagated the entire way all the way to space. It would have been one off. Off by one errors everywhere. That would have been, that would have been an interesting experience. Not fun, interesting. But that means we can go here, or no, or right here. There we go. Okay, so that should be fixed. Good. And when we can't build those yet. And this is well, three degrees, so it's pretty cold. So yeah, the reason I came up here is because I want to start making some, uh, we saw nothing, everything's okay, uh, but I want to make a food processing area. There we go. That should tell me how, be able to tell me how much one nosh bean will give me in food. Body temperature. Oh, does it need? Oh, it needs to be pretty cold too. Oh, this is not gonna work. This isn't cold enough. Oh no, this isn't working. It needs to be between negative five and zero degrees. So this won't work at all. I can't use nosh beans. Just not cold enough. I would need to. Oh, there's a teleporter. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I need to break into here. I guess I can run a cold base, but that does not sound like a good idea. Not a lot. Uh, what other options do I have for food? I, I can run a cold base. Break into here. Like there's plenty of cold coming out from down here. But I'm just concerned because if I start laying the cold into here, it'll come up here eventually. And that might be problematic once I run out of ethanol, unless I start actually producing ethanol. That requires me a source of polluted water. I do have polluted water. I do have a source of polluted water that can turn polluted water into wood, wood into ethanol, ethanol into food. I could try it. I don't see any harm in trying. Uh, I do need to get to a colder area though. I can't put the farm here. It's not cold enough. So I need to put the farm down here or here. Which one would be better for farming? Uh, this is obviously closer to my dupes. 
but we have there's technically more ethanol over here a little bit more space but there's more things in the way here we have this in the way here we have the two geysers kind of in the way I guess hmm I'll have to think about it for a second I don't have a lot of time to think though we're down to 40,000 calories uh, let's see what we got here so, Rowan, you could be an operator. You decrease cuisine, increase food. That's actually a benefit. Like, I don't understand why kitchen medicine is red. Like, it decreased cuisine, but you can still cook if you have to. It's not the, you can't cook. It's just decreased. And you increase your food morale bonus. So, now all of a sudden, Barbecue is just as good as a frost burger. Like, not not that, not actually that big of a deal, but like, it's not just plus one morale, it's plus one level morale. So if we go to consumables, it's like, it goes from one level to the next. I don't have anything like to show here, but it doesn't go plus one, it goes plus one level. So, that's really that's like to me that should be considered a bonus not a negative and then uh while well, he actually has bonuses yeah rowan you're actually really good and we could use uh, someone who has high priority operating yeah our first technician you could actually become our first mechatronics engineer <clears throat> yeah i like it i like you a lot Okay, so skills, Rowan. Let's get you your mechatronics engineer badge. And your schedule will be here. Like that. And you will have a priority of operating plus farming. Not look at that, I actually really liked. Really like that. Okay. So food, food, food. Food is important. So we don't have enough. And one thing of tofu requires four nosh beans and gives three thousand six hundred calories. Uh, I'm just gonna find out what uh, there's the only calculator. I'm just gonna use that. I was gonna try to do it in my head, but this is uh <laughs> it is not working out for me. So food, food right here. Let's go with tofu. Not spicy tofu, normal tofu. Normal tofu. What? That takes water. Oh, it does take water. Oh my, this is such a, why do, why would I want one of these? Just seems like such a bad idea. So do harvested, let's say for one dupe, you need three plants. You need three nosh sprouts. Per dupe. So it's no. And you need so much water. Actually, that's not that much water, actually. So you need three plants per dupe. And the plant needs dirt and ethanol. So if I want to support something like eight dupes, I would need 23 plants. It's still quite a bit of plants. Okay. We're still going to try it. Still going to try it, but I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna put it in here. Uh, so that it's not in the way of the two geysers. Okay, so that means we need to start digging up here. 
Let's uh change our priority. We can still not dig through the bisolite. But let's finish digging through everything else that we have up here. Okay, we're almost to the point where we can uh, have animal husbandry. See furnace, there's one right here. There's two right here, but I can't reach those just yet. So we get rid of that. It'll allow me to here and take this out. Not that one though. Okay. Uh -huh. much time before you can start uh, digging that uh, it's growing right no no Turner Turner uh, maybe a cycle then we can start digging through here I guess the ideal situation would be to have the farm right here this is gonna let all the cold in Course. But uh, we're just gonna have to deal with the cold base and we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make a cold base work. You can add a couple more batteries actually just to uh, have a little bit more heat generation. Won't hurt us to have a little bit more heat. Okay, and there's one last oxy fern right here from what I can find. I do not want to dig out this oxalite. So I will actually uproot, which is very rare for me. Can't even reach, it's unreachable I think. No one can get in. And I think that would be the last one. Oh, there's one down here. That's actually working. So maybe we leave that one be for now. We have a lot of water source. So I'm not too concerned about that, but. Toilet. No working toilets. Oh. That's up. Uh... This, this is a pretty high priority in itself. It's like the highest priority thing in the base is seven. So that's kind of surprising that uh, Turner, there we go. Super hard digging. This should allow me to do Abyssalite. Perfect. Oh, come on. We need someone to uh, take care of this for us. just insufficient so now we should be able to make it through here so I don't want to have any of this I don't know how high this goes I don't want any of this falling here so we would enter right here. So that would be one, two, three, four, right here. So we would go in this way. This is the wall. And otherwise we'll put the food we want here. Okay. 
So this should also allow us to have some ethanol right here. Huh. And arbor trees. First dirt, polluted water. Oh. Oh, do we do we not really only had six oxyferns? Wow, we really only had six oxyferns. It's a whole starting area. Only six oxyferns. So technically, we only have enough oxygen to support two dupes worth of oxygen. But hmm, that's not good. We have some rust, right? We have rust. Let's track it. So we could uh, set up a rust area. Oh, we have some idle dupes. So I guess we could set up rust for some oxygen. Oh, we need to research it. Yeah, so that would be our next priority for researching will be to research rust. Oxygen making. Uh, let's dig through all this. We'll, we'll need some salt vines to take care of the chlorine. What does salt vine means other than uh, chlorine atmosphere and some sand? Sand. What? What is sand? Sand does not exist. Sand is not a thing. I don't know what sand is. <laughs> it requires something that doesn't exist, guys. Oh, no, I did not want to open this. Close. Ah, that takes way too long. Okay, so are we going to research? No, we are still researching. Yeah. So, I mean, that means we'll need to make sand out of uh, rocks. Somehow I know exactly how to work with uh, with sand, even if we don't know it exists yet. I can make that work. So I'm thinking we could put the rust generator somewhere in this area because it's pretty hot. And that should act as somewhat of a barrier against the cold encroaching too much into the base. It won't stop it completely. I would never expect it to do that but it should help reduce the amount of damage it does. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of this. And let's just dig all that out. Clean it up a little bit, but uh, General idea will be to have the rust generator here, have something that cleans up the, we have something that cleans up the carbon dioxide down here, and we have something that cleans up the, uh, what's it called? What's this called again? Chlorine. The chlorine up here, and that should take care of all of the uh, I should take care of our oxygen production for now. Okay. That'll be interesting. Yeah, normally I don't go in this direction. I don't bother trying to do make rust with oxygen. I just would tap this brine, turn it into water, and put it inside of a Hydrolyzer, but you know, why not have a little bit of fun doing it a little differently? Oh wow, I am running out of food real quick though. Um, 
Maybe I'm taking this a little too lackluster. Taking this a little too easy. So let's see here. Let's make a plan. Might need to supplement my plan. So we have no plumbing. Wow, wow, our research. I've been really slow at researching, I find. Did I ask too much of you to go up here and do that? Like, I don't know. We need you. It's a higher priority. We need some food. Uh, so we'll put, we'll go up here, dig into here. Yeah. Let's go up here, dig into here. Put a ladder to those down here. Let me dig all this out. Take that out to free up this. Then we can pump this ethanol into some hydroponic. So for now we have five. So we would need. Say we make the full sixteen. That is five dupes worth of food. Right there. We have new printables, but probably shouldn't print another dupe. We oh, hatchling eggs. That could solve our problem with food. It'll take a little bit. We need we need a temporary solution until hatchling barbecues come into play. But uh, maybe I just want everyone to be vegetarians. That'd be a nice little challenge. Uh, just doing this to myself, ain't I? making it more difficult than it needs to be. So next, so I have this, I can pump it in. Oh, there we go. Rust, the oxidizer. Rust. Oh. There's nothing else you guys to work on. This is the only thing I've asked you to work on. So hopefully this should help with uh, keeping that a priority. So now we have plumbing. Put myself a liquid pump here. Power source here. We put it here we can put the pipe through that and put it into here it still takes 21 cycles though for the nosh beans to grow to a point where we could use it for food so we still we will definitely need we have no water access we have water access why is it telling me we have no water access? We definitely have water access. There we go. Uh, make 10 of those for now. And oxygen. Rusty oxidizer produces enough oxygen for almost six dupes, so five dupes. And produce lots of chlorine and iron ore and heat. But otherwise, it's a relatively simple machine, right? It doesn't do anything special. You could just pump one here. And be like, hey, here's some pump one here and be like here's some heat this this is cold you let's put it 
gear. There we go. Okay. So... Look, that, these dupes are working fast. Good job, guys. Frost beans. Let me take this in here. Let's think this ahead of time, though. But, uh, there we go. Okay, so now that should provide us a little bit of food. I also, we don't have a chef. So the next dupe we will be recruiting will definitely be a chef so we can start grilling. I saw that we have some uh, wheat wheat from digging this area out a little bit. So that should give us some uh, wheat wheat muffins access. With that, we should be able to survive the uh, upcoming food shortage. Pretty, pretty straightforward, actually. Okay, and then we put the ethanol. Did we discover how high this goes? No, it still keeps going. Uh, and there's something else here. Not clear what that is. I don't see anything that would hint at it just yet. But there's definitely something else here. And if I were to guess, I would say it's the other teleporter. This is the input, this is probably the output, which is very conveniently close. This is, this map generation is very generous. Oh, look at that, we also have uh, some sulfur here, plus sucrose, and a bunch of sweetles, which we could farm if we wanted to. But I'm gonna keep going in, a, in this direction. I will we'll farm, but I will not farm for the purpose of meat. I'll only farm for the purpose of resource transformation. So, I'm gonna have my dupes try to be as vegetarian as possible. No guarantees, though. If they find a piece of meat on the floor, they're gonna eat it. If they find a piece of barbecue, they're going to be like, yes, please. So, you know, nothing I can do about that. But, well, <laughs> technically there's something I could do about that. I could be like, no. But I'm not going to do that. No. If they want to eat meat, they can. But I'm going to try to make it more focused on... Uh... Okay, let's... Uh on sustainable non-meat related food. That sounds like fun. No! No! Oh. Okay, well, let's see if we can fix that. This, too much liquids, too much liquids, too much liquids. Built this rock here, then it would limit the damage, which would be nice. Someone built this. Come on, come on, Bert. Come down here. So you're producing oxygen, and so are you. Really hot. Really hot. But that's okay. Do we have the wall? Okay, so that limits the damage at least. And we don't have any worries about bacteria or anything, right? Germs, yeah. Yeah, so that's fine. That should be fine. I'm not concerned anymore. Okay, so these guys are growing. And you're in place here. Yeah, we can make some frost buns. But we need someone that can make frost buns. So we have oxygen here and here. Uh, it's oxygen overlay. Okay, so the next thing we want to research is a little bit of 
I want myself some air tiles here to help with the distribution of uh, gases and such. At the moment, gas distribution isn't going very well, as you can see by them grouping up here in a non very nice way. So let's build up here. And once I have this built up, I can add in some airflow tiles to help with the distribution, uh, with everything equally equalizing out. And I would like to add some uh, put right here. I don't know how many of these I need. So I'll just start with one. Uh, Gas stuff. So I'll make one. Where is it? Oh, fine. Take some sand. Don't have a way to make sand just yet. All right, we don't have a way to make sand. Where's my refinement? Yeah, we don't have a way to make sand just yet. That's okay. Yeah, you're just gonna keep going down here. This was not the correct way to enter, I guess. So this is 16, right? Yeah, so that would make, no, no, no. I don't actually want to take that up. I make this the wall, this a door, and this would be the next path. So if I go here, if I dig this up, it'll give a place for the water to go down here. Wrong, 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 wrong. Four, there we go. And then we can have four here too. Or what's that? Bleach stone. Should be good. Okay. We can dig all this out. Should give us plenty of space for anything that melts to fall down here instead of all the way down here. And then I can work on. Oh no, this is. Ah, oh, I really should. Plan these things ahead. Now there's no way for it to come down here into the current trap that I have. All right. Think more before I act. Insufficient sand and atmosphere. No oh, research complete. So that means. Uh, we can research my, where's the crusher? There's the crusher. Perfect. We also now have skills to assign our dupes. Joshua, you can ranch. Very nice. Now that's, we're not ready for you yet, but you can, which is nice. So do we have a cook? We do not have a cook. Only cook is Abe, and you are crappy cook. Mm. Yeah, no. No, 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 Abe, no other cook. Uh, oh, we're really desperate on food, though. Really desperate for food. But ape is just so bad. We are not bringing you into the fold. 
I don't care how desperate we are for food. We are not desperate enough. And tofu forever. Is there any other source of food? Maybe someone can temporarily go grilling. Who's our next person to get any skills? No, I don't want you, but you are getting close to a certain skill. Yeah, we can maybe put you as a griller, as a second priority griller. Temporarily, of course. Yeah, see, I think this was gonna happen. Oh well. We'll clean this up and we'll separate it later, I guess. Yeah, see? It's keeping the cold at bay a little bit. That's good. While also providing us oxygen. You know, secondary though. To keeping the cold at bay. But that does mean now I have some airflow tiles. So that's... Increase the amount of airflow we have going on around here. Right, is that... Five, five, perfect. Oh, look at that. I actually got right in the middle right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Very happy with that. That should help with the airflow we have going on around here. Thin uh, rock crusher. Perfect. Uh, so now we have refinement rock crusher. We should put that on this line. Let's just put it right here, right? There's no arm in that. I mean, this will allow us to get some sand because apparently we don't start with the ability to make sand. Is there any more nosh beans that we can dig up from the wild to plant? Not here. Dig this one up. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, right. looking good. Well, looking acceptable. We have two and a half cycles worth of food left. This still has. Plenty of cycles to go. Only 10%. That's not going to work for us anytime soon. We... Mm. Oh, that's the end of the map. Okay. And I was right. Oh no, I was wrong. This is the actual the teleporters. I thought this would have been the. Uh, that would have been too nice. Someone's trapped. How did you manage that? How did you? How? No, oh, that was an easy trap though. Technically, my food problems can be solved if I can get someone to cook. Look at all that potential food. I just need someone to cook. How are you? Oh, you're not even going to be close to that. I'm just being stubborn. I'm being stubborn. Priorities. Where are you, Gene? We're going to temporarily give you a high priority cook. So now you should be willing to do cook errand after your break. Obviously, I'm sorry. I did not mean to bug you during your break. Please, I will go do something else. Oh, these dupes. 
So entitled. Back in my days, we didn't have schedules. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so now we're making some micro mustard that should help us. Food safety, huh? I'm okay. My dupes don't need to know about food safety. They just need food. See? See? He's more than happy to eat that dirt. Literally. Dirt. He's more than happy to be eating the dirt. Uh, no need to talk about food safety here. Oh, we have some ability to make sand. That's nice. Uh, let's see. We have 74 tons. We have much more ingus raw. Uh, those are our only two choices right now, right? So, I guess let's make... I don't know ton of sand. Make that priority six. Building entombed. Ah, I can't do anything about that, guys. Um, no research focus. Let's keep that. Yeah, see now all the water is coming down here. It's going to pool down here. We'll take care of separating the water uh, as we go. Perfect. Lots of, lots of ice. Lots of ice. Okay. And if nothing in here can be mopped, right? Oh, look at that. We can mop some of it. That's nice. We should get some sand now. And, yeah, sand. New magical thing we've never heard of before. And we also need that for uh, skills. Rowan, you're still going to go to engineering. I just want my mechatronics engineer. Too bad. Uh, I want that more than I want these dupes to survive. So uh, we're going to eat, we're going to survive off micro mush bars. Crabs make sand, yes, crabs make sand too. But I was just meaning like, my dupes did not know of the existence of sand. Uh, <coughs> it doesn't exist here. Like this whole asteroid does not have a speck of sand as far as I can tell. So, oh, never mind. maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that's at least so. Looks like sand though. Uh, oh, there we do have some sand. It actually does exist. It's a real thing, it exists, I was wrong. Uh, but so far we did not know the existence of sand. Uh, and I don't think we know the existence of crabs yet either. Oh, look at that. There's some over here. There's lots of sand. <laughs> There's lots of sand. No crabs. No crabs. <laughs> and I'm watching I'd be wrong. There's a giant crab biome over here or something. I just stick my foot in my mouth over and over again. Uh, okay, so, sorry, got distracted there. Uh, what was I doing again? Okay, so we have sand from the, from here, which is good. We have some food growing here, which is good. We dug that one up, and did we plant it? Yes, we did. That's why this one's at 6%, which is good. We do need a, how close are you to, well, maybe less than a cycle away from that, so that's good. Take that one out. So I guess our next goal would be to try to, I want more dupes. 
For that, we need more food. For that, we need more... Uh, mush routes. But... For that, we would need more ethanol. And for that, we would need to actually start making ethanol. Okay, so let's start centralizing and making ethanol. Let's start centralizing all our liquids, actually. Uh, so research, let's... Where's my liquids stuff? So, go here, so we can get a mesh tile. And let's start planning out the pools for liquids. So this will obviously be the area for my polluted water. Uh, hook? No. But food. So this will be the area for polluted water. I'll put an area for ethanol up here. And uh, water right beside the polluted water should work. It's close enough to all the sources of water that I'm aware of. That's always nice. Uh, it's going to fill up with lots of cold water. That's good. <clears throat> mm, and I can move everything else. Like, there seems to be a lot of free space here. Nothing, no buildings, no anything here. So that looks good. Um, yeah. So I guess my next thing would be to try to... How do I... Yeah, let's dig this one out. I should let the water flow here. Now we have some idle dupes, actually. So if I'm going to put water here, it means I need to airflow tile all this. And this will become normal tiles. And these will become ladders. Okay, so that did free up the water, which is nice. Ideally, them mopping up this should pick up this water. And then I won't have to worry about any water being a problem. Right? That would be the ideal. Research mesh tiles. Perfect. Okay, so we put mesh tiles here. And this one will be for water. And it, look at that, it worked. So now I can dig this one up. And that should join this ethanol pool with this ethanol. And now we don't have any mixes. If only it was that easy for this mix over here. This mix is going to be a little harder to deal with. Hmm. You seem pretty happy. Okay, so let's... Starts. With that, do I have any? Like, we don't have any mud on this asteroid, so there's nothing else we need to put here right now. This is just where we will be putting the water as we move forward. Okay, so now we just put this is a little bit micro intensive, but now we just put a block here. Then here, and then here, we just push it all the way until we reach here. And now we can, then we can make this into our pool for... Okay, so here, water, seven, six. Not a high priority. Five. Yeah, let's not even make it six. Let's just grab all the water bottles, put it in one place. Oh, we have more idle dupes and some skills. Ooh, Gene, perfect. Uh, you're gonna cook a little bit. Uh, I should take care of the. I, <laughs> yeah, that's one idle person gone. He was like, "Oh, I can cook. Let's go. Let's a go." Okay. So in the same sense, I will want have uh, all that here. Close this off. <clears throat> I 
It is heat. Oh, it might be actually heating up too much. That's pretty close to the limit of zero degrees. Maybe these are a little too warm. Maybe I need to fight back. How do I fight back? I, I would fight back with... Uh, So we need to fight back a little bit here. No automation yet to automate all this process, but uh, for now we can put ourselves some warts here. That should hopefully help it not get too cold. We have an idle dupe. Perfect. Play those two. We're almost there. We just got to keep pushing that. And then we can dump all of this down here. And where do I want to put the first farm? It will be a pit farm. It'll be our first farm will be a pit farm. It needs to be close to the polluted water generation, or at least that's where we need to get we need to get polluted water into the pit farm. So the polluted water will be stored here. So I'd prefer it to be close to where we store the polluted water. So right here. Hmm. That's inconvenient right now because of the way we have the setup. This is definitely not producing enough. This is not taking care of our carbon dioxide though. Where is uh carbon dioxide? Yes. Yeah. These are just not keeping up. Let's put this over here. Let's destroy that one. But yeah, if we're going to put the polluted water here, I want the hip branch either here or here. Or at least not too far away. Maybe here. Here isn't the worst. It won't be in the way. I don't know if there's anything here, actually. We can find out. 16, this is the wall. This would be the second. This would be the... We did this? No, we cannot dig this. Do not have... Oh, look at that. We can dig that. <laughs> Look at that, we can dig it now. That which should mean we should be able to explore a little bit further this way. And see... How far away? That's... This would be 17... 18... This would be the next... Ladders. This is the edge of the map, so it should allow us to see all the way to the edge of the map once we dig this up. Look at that, now my, my dupes are living their best life. They're gonna feed off of the frost buns. They're gonna be so happy. I'm gonna have some oxalite that's stuck down here. Eh, we'll get to that eventually. So I'm gonna guess it's just gonna be the same biome the entire way. It's just gonna be a very big sulfur biome right here. Uh, yeah, I don't think that looks fine to me. This kind of tile here. And here. Like that. There we go. Looking 
looking good. Are we almost done with our first batch? Not even close. But we have plenty of food now. Happy with that. Oh, look at that. Another frost biome, actually. That's pretty good. Not expecting another. We have one here, one giant one here. Still don't really know how high this goes, but I'm assuming it'll circle out. Be like an eight type of thing. That's pretty cool. And then we have another one here with some uh, polluted water down here being off gassed and uh, fog of war. Cool. How's my oxygen situation doing? Okay. We need, we need to handle this chlorine situation a little bit better. That's why I'm trying to make more chlorines. But do we not have any more? Or... No pending delivery. So we don't have any more salt vines. There's one right here we can uh, destroy that. Growing outside of that tile, which makes so much sense. Uh, but we got a new printable. Take a look. Caval, though. You're a cook. Pacifist. You're a slow learner. But not yokel. So you can still learn science, but you'll. Your science will flow. And you have a useless skill, but you're a cook. Shows how much I want to cook. Rado. Uh. Compared to Camille, which is not a cook. Can't do doctoring. Or we could get a pinch of pepper seed or some dirt. We have. 430 tons of dirt. How about it though? Look at that. I'll put you on this. You can have your priorities. That means you can priority cooking as your main priority. And what was your secondary skill? Um, there you go. Farming. So priorities, your secondary is farming. So that would allow Jean to at least, you, he knows how to cook. So I'll leave this cooking there. But it's not a high priority for them. Uh, though, on your hand, knows how to cook. And it is a high priority for them. So, yeah, good. Uh, drilling. Construction. Uh, let's make this six and seven. Let's, uh, Harvest plant, enable auto harvest. That's, well, actually, if we just dig it out, right? Like, uh, will that just automatically harvest those? Well, too late. There we go, we have some wood. To make that wood into ethanol, right? Maybe we need research for that. Research. Desalinator, ethanol. Put those here, finish this up, and we can dump all of this in here and build off this. And now we'll have our water storage and our polluted water storage. 
looking good. So, okay, so this is the edge of the map. So we have this ice biome over here. Say hello. Oh, we have another ice biome right here too. Okay, and then we have this nice little sulfur biome right here. A little bit of water, off of sand. Good to go. Okay, that's pretty good. But I feel like uh, right here would be a good place to set up my uh, hip farm. So once we finish making a pool for the blue water, we can start building the pit farm. Uh, how are we with food? We still have plenty, yeah, we still have plenty of frost bun materials. We don't want to make too many of them too quickly, obviously, because then we, they would rot. So I'm okay with staying a pretty reasonable amount. Sludge presses are useless for us because we don't have any mud for now. Oh wow, you are not you are not uh, helping that much, are you? Eh, a little bit, I guess. Two degrees. Over here, it's still negative four. I feel like you guys are winning the fight against the cold biome, though. This cold biome cannot beat two rusty oxidizers, okay? It is not good enough for that. Apparently. Ooh. No, that's not plastic. Okay, so this should be good. So if we go here now, this would be here. We open that up. It should allow us to pour all this water down here and now there will be an easy way for them to trans like now we can build around here move everything and just have a nice clean area the ethanol here isn't really going down too quickly i'm not i don't remember how high it was like there's just a little bit of ethanol here, so it makes me think maybe it was higher up, up here. But, uh, yeah. Not very happy with these nosh sprouts. They aren't, very, they aren't doing very well. You need three of these for one dupe. That means 60 kilograms a second of ethanol. And I wonder how many trees that is. This is not a very environmental, environmentally friendly setup we got here. There we go. Now we can dig this all up. No more, no more nature. Nash plants, do they need dirt though? Yeah, they need dirt. Uh, they need five kilograms of dirt per cycle, uh, which is why I need the uh, pit farm. The pit produce dirt from polluted water, and the polluted water will come from the polluted, uh, the cool slush geyser, which will be emitting polluted water. So the pits can solve the dirt issue, and the trees will solve, which also come from polluted water, will solve the uh, ethanol issue. But it, it's it's going to be taxing on the polluted water. I'm not. This isn't ideal. We'll see how it works. But uh, I I only need to support six dupes. So you know, I don't need to support that. I don't need to support a whole army yet. Talking about that, my next level here should, should be able to support more dupes.
There we go. So this part is all cleaned up now. We can add in uh, some bottle emptiers. Do we have, oh, do we have research going on? Okay, so next thing we'll want to research is some deoxidizers to handle this polluted oxygen. Uh, that is getting emitted over here. Through the water. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, worst comes to worst, I can just take some of the uh, ice and turn it into water, but I'm not nowhere near that right now. Or, or if anything, our amount of food is going up now that, now that we have cook. Not going down, it's going up. Oh, what's body temperature? Oh, is it? How is it too warm? Don't you need it to be seven? How are you seven? Oh, because of the dirt? Was the dirt used here? Is it very warm dirt? Yeah, it's very warm dirt. Ah, oh, I... Ah. Oh. So we need to, like, store dirt here so that it cools off. Ah. Uh. Like, it's okay now that it cooled off, but it needs to be stored here so it stays cold. Oh, ethanol. There we go. So how much trees do I need per ethanol? I'm sure I could find this by looking up, but, you know, it's more fun this way. So ethanol needs 1,000 lumbers per one kilogram of lumber per second and will produce 500 grams of lumber per second you guys need 60 kilograms per cycle cycle 600 seconds so 60 one two three divided by 600 so you need 100 grams per second so one ethanol distiller can support five nosh Meaning, one ethanol distiller supports one and two third of a dupe. This is... I don't like these numbers. I do not like these numbers at all. These numbers are not what I like to hear. Well, I want one of them to support many more than that. Uh, okay, so now where's my oxygen thing? There it is. Uh, we're starting to have a little bit of an issue with the polluted oxygen now that we have uh, this, all this polluted oxygen, polluted water exposed to the environment. It's like, ooh, look at all this free space since we were not very highly pressurized. Don't like that. Let's fix that. Uh, okay. So. I want to make this into a permanent area for our notch though, for uh, ethanol. So in the same way I did for the other ones, let's uh, build myself some ladders and some mesh tiles. One, two, three, four, five. And we put uh, this right here, and we dig this out. Let's not go too close just yet, but uh, this would be the ideal. We can have a, another a pool here just for ethanol. Let's see what we got here. Omelet sounds nice. A better cook. Oh, allergies. Never mind. Not a better cook. Okay. We're good. We're good. Not a better cook. Uh, omelets. Omelets sound good. 
Tá triste. Ok. We don't have that yet. So the next part here, I guess, would be here and here. We would need to build all this. And we can mop that one up. But that should help push all the ethanol more over here. Oh, did we lose? Did I destroy a line of... Yeah, I did. Buildings only, guys. Buildings only. We only want buildings. And you need to give me some... Mm, dirt. Put some dirt in there. Okay, it's looking good. And the same vein that we have the other two, we'll put two ball emptiers here so that we can uh, pick up mopped ethanol and dump it up here. Really only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are like I guess there is some uh buried object here. Might be worth our time to look what that is. Mealwood seed it looks like it was just a mealwood seed. It was not another one of you. That is a disappointing amount. Yeah, dig up everything that's left for the starting biomes. Cause that was a very disappointing amount of ferns. Ethanol. Is there any more left from the starting biome? There is here, but there's nothing buried here. We have a... Oh, look at that. There's a notch sprout. That could have been useful. But yeah, there's nothing left buried anywhere here. That won't be helpful. Okay, so this looks like, oh, why can't, is that not reachable? No, it is. Let's uh, increase the priority. Priority six, very important. I don't mess with priorities a lot, so if I do mess with it, it becomes very important very quickly. is maxed out not that he's done any ranching but he is an expert at ranching oh let's mop this up a little bit please We gotta replace this with actual floor. 
So that's built underneath, and then we can build the floor so no, none of the ethanol uh, falls out. And we're going to move this over here. There we go. That should let us clean up a little bit. We don't need all this wire going all the way around. We can just go straight here now. And I don't want this to just be floating in the middle of the air. So we can clean this up a little bit. But this is uh, looking pretty promising. And there's another nosh bean right here. I, I, yeah, it's taking forever. Okay, our food is going down now. I'm assuming we're out of frost buttons. Okay. Uh, mush bars to the rescue. Mush bars to the rescue. Consumables. No one actually eats eat the mush bars. Okay. No, no, I didn't say turn. No, no. Do not remember telling you to turn that off. I apparently did. I do not remember doing it though. Uh, let's take a break from researching for now uh, until I need something else. But uh, thank you for letting me know about the oxidizers. That should help reduce the amount of. Oh, these require power now, right? Yeah. Uh, how is this wire doing? Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty busy wire. Let's make a new wire. There you go. Perfect. So, carbon skimmer was also, also part of that. Oh, actually, it doesn't look like we need carbon skimmers. It really does look like our, carb, our carbon dioxide situation is under control. Question mark. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we've actually increased the pressure around here, because of depleted, depleted oxygen has greatly increased the pressure around here, which has... Uh, Pushed all the carbon dioxide down here where it belongs. So yeah, it looks good. And when this is like polluted oxygen, all of the chlorine seems to be hanging out around here, getting consumed. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we need the. the carbon skimmer. Looks like uh, looks fine. Okay, so that should get these working. Well, we need some sand. And put some sand in this one. There we go. That should help with that. Now we should have some good clean oxygen coming out of there. Cool, cool. Soon enough. Like, I'm pretty sure the... 12 beans will count as 12 plants, so we won't turn it into food, but the first, ah, uh, yeah, let me guess, warm dirt, warm dirt, oh, and warm ethanol too, the ethanol isn't keeping itself cold, like we have some cold environment, but uh, this is not We aren't keeping up with the cold requirements. It's body temperature is so close to what is necessary. So close.
Let's, uh, we have, I think we have one more of these Wii Sports. Oh, you are, oh, like, 63% of the way to making some actual... New printables available. Choose a printable. I will choose the leaves because those are some crappy dupes. There we go, we do have another ward seed. So let's prioritize those. We'll make it clear like these notch beans are pretty high priority. Yeah, see, this dirt is very warm. I did not, that's not cooling off the dirt being in here. I was really hoping that would help cool off the dirt. Hopefully that Wii's wart should help cool down. Wow, we're up to three degrees. One degrees. This one is gonna stop growing soon. The ethanol is kind of warm. You can, uh... Do we have temp shift plates? That uh, will be our next research, temp shift plates. We have some skills. Oh, you're getting there. We can start carrying things better. Two more levels and then we have our first Megatronics Engineer. We can start uh, automating things. Very much looking forward to being able to automate things. Going, it's going down. It's getting colder. That's a very precise number. Oh, it was, oh no, it's getting warm. Oh, it's getting colder. It's getting warmer. It's getting colder. It's like z negative zero point zero seven. Wow. Okay, so let's deconstruct this. Maybe having the dirt on the ground. Someone's gonna come deconstruct it. There we go. We'll help cool it down some more. Nope. That did not do anything. The dirt still doesn't want to cool down. That's a lot of dirt though. Well, moving the dirt into this biome did not help having it become colder dirt. Like it is cooling down. We're at negative 0 0.1. So it does seem to be effective. Yeah, so we do have dupes that have nothing to do. So I guess the next thing would either to be tackle this, move this, or set up a pit farm. All worthy things but which one is most worthy is the question who is still a problem i need to make 10 more of these food for to for food to stop being a problem we need to cool this down we don't uh none of those would help this is actually warmer ethanol than what we have up here, so that would be worse, not better. We can pass the ethanol through here, 
and try to cool it down before. Yeah, I don't want to feed my dupes meat though. Oh uh, yeah, maybe ranching the pips might be a better idea. Mm. Okay, yeah, let's do that then. So that would be over here. We need to clear out the second level. To set up the farm. Or... And there we go. So they need to clear this out. Once all that's cleared out, we should be able to quickly build up the ranch for pips. We can then put all the pips in one place and start killing them. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Food is definitely my highest priority right now. We still have plenty of water, so I'm not too concerned about that. And plenty of ice. Uh, once I have my... How am I doing on ice anyways? Uh, yeah, 12.3 tons of ice. Plenty of ice. I mean ice. That we could turn into more water. We have plenty of blue water here, which we could turn into more water. Like, water can be turned directly into mush bars, plus dirt, so, and one mush bar is one dupe worth of, one, a little bit more than one dupe worth of food per cycle. So, it's not the best, for sure, but it is working. Yeah. There we go. We got our making some good progress here. Well, you're making progress. Good job. Ooh, we have this all set up so we can destroy this. Clean this up. Construct you. And we'll connect you once this is all deconstructed. Or not. Ceiling collapse. Okay. We're good. You guys can't leave right now. You guys are stuck here. Yeah, you guys are good now. I wonder how many there's no easy way to tell how many pips there are right I could, I could go through it and count but they might be hiding somewhere there's no easy way to be able to be like this is the amount of pips I have I don't think so That would be nice to know. That would be some kind of very useful information. Okay, so this is destroyed. Well, let's wait until all three of these pipes are clear so that we don't have a dupe come here, destroy a pipe, go away, come here, destroy a pipe, go away. That seems like a very ineffective use of our dupe time. Look at that. No, that's much better. So just doing a little bit of cleanup over here. Plenty of ethanol. 
And look at that, that this one Weezwort is definitely saving the day here and keeping this area cold. While this is not warming up too much. Looking good. And this is enough, more than enough oxygen production for our dupes. So food is still, some food up here. Can I reach that in time? No, no, I can't reach that in time. Uh, research. These guys, actually, they could be food, right? What temperatures do these need? They need sulfur. We have lots of sulfur, right? Sulfur. 24.5 tons of sulfur. We have lots of sulfur. These guys make food, right? These guys can make food. Why don't I make these guys make food? Let's go grab them. Let's go grab this and go up here. Oh, that water is going to be a pain. It should all fit down here, actually. I should be fine. We'll grab these. And let's go grab these. This one doesn't take any water, does it? No, it just takes sulfur. No water, just sulfur. And it needs to be pretty warm. It's pretty warm here. There's no cold spots that are not affected yet. So we can easily slap down some emergency foods. Uh, these guys take four cycles actually. Growth four cycles. So that's really good. Actually, let's go in that direction first. Don't know why I didn't think of that. But it also prevents my dupes from having to eat flesh. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, just trying to have a little bit of a challenge. There we go. Still gonna try to make nosh, be nosh beans work, because why not? But uh, I think this will work out for us. Uh, rust or sandstone? Rust. That's our source of oxygen right now. Being learned a skill. Be a better telescope user. You can be a better cook. There we go. Oh, there's another one over here too. Okay. Grub fruit. You guys play nicely with uh, grub fruits, right? So you're almost dead. With no egg. One of you should be. Oh. I went overboard a little bit. That's okay. Hmm. 
Could be some food. Oh, we are... 20. Forever. One of these is one dupe's worth of food per cycle, so that's pretty good. And these guys take... So it's like three and a half of these per dupe. So this is five dupes worth of food. Basically the same amount of plant to dupe ratio as nosh beans. Nosh beans is a little less than three per dupe. What are you doing? Are you ruining everything here? By planting things that should not be? Oh, you. How did you get here? Like. The only way would have been for you to climb all the way from down here to get here. Why would you... Why? Go away. Oh, you're back to being... Uh, Problem temperature. The problem with these is that they are made with sulfur and I don't have a way to sustain sulfur just now, just yet. Uh, I know there are sulfur geysers, I'm not on this asteroid, uh, but I know there are sulfur geysers, so we can eventually sustain it. Just not right now, not here. Uh, you're idle. How dare you? Okay, so that's... Oh, that's definitely a bug. Like, switches. Which one it displays if, if they're not all displayed like that. Kind yeah, of cool. But that's definitely not intended. Uh... Okay, so let's make the farm, let, let's make the ranch. Uh, all this has been digged up. Um, this is going to be for the pips. This is 64 and we need a ranch. Needs to be, uh, or stable, sorry, 96. 64, 96, that's 32. Uh, so this much minus a little bit. So we're here, you would obviously want to have Ladder here. Go all the way here like this. So this would be 20. Thirty-two minus one right now. If we instead So 28, just cut it off straight here. So this would be big enough. Why am I doing it this way? I don't need to do it. If I cut this up, the three won't nicely come off anywhere else. So if I do that, then I would need my station. Where is it gonna be? A Station, grooming station, station here under food for the critter drop off, and I want to have first the hydroponic tile. So one tree 
supports eight pips. So the tree can be planted here. This is enough space for eight pips. Okay, 28, 32, plus 64. Okay. And now we'll need to, last thing we need to do is just provide some water. So plumbing. So we need to go over here. Like this. There we go. And some power. I have a power that's not being used for much. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I just like putting my tile, like everything through the walls as much as possible. So I will go out of my way to put things through walls like this. I just think it looks nicer. As you can see, like all my wires are all through the walls as much as possible. And if you put a door here, here and here, you can't even see the wire going down. You can just see the wires when they need to go back and forth. I think it looks nice. So I try to keep my wires inside of the doors as much as possible. Oh, that's why I went all the way around here. Same thing with the power, that's why I went all the way around here like that. It is my preference. No real, no technical reason for it, other than I think it looks nice. Oh, food. What are we doing over here? You're still not old enough. You are, but you're still only 87%, 87%. You guys are still being pains in the rear. Ooh, it's getting real tight. You guys, are, you guys all might be done before the nosh berries are done. Hey, I just went with these guys in the first place. One moment. There we go. Okay. Okay, back to it. So, you two. I'm gonna make these a higher priority. Yeah, look at that, my eggs finally hatched. I almost want to kill these guys off because they're annoying me. Oh, is there any other closed door that has no reason to be closed? I think we're good. Bravado is just so busy. He's cooking, cooking, and cooking, making mush bars into more food. He's on a break now, which I don't think is acceptable, just because, you know, we need more food. Eight pips or pip squeaks. Make this priority eight. We make this a uh, priority. No. Eight, seven. 
This one needs to be the tree. So our first tree. Plant. It needs dirt, which again, the pips will provide the dirt. Pips provide so much dirt. So much dirt. They just love to provide people dirt. So, we have this set up. It takes a little bit for this to grow to its full size. So I don't want to put any pips in here, groom them, and then they die of starvation because this doesn't have enough time to grow. Because this takes too much time to grow. So I want this to grow first, and then we put pips in. Or else our pips are all going to die. No one wants the pips to die. As far as I know, no one wants the pips to die. Can't guarantee that, though, actually. Let's increase the air circulation we have going on here. And give the dupes an actual floor. I think our dupes have been sleeping on Ignis rock floors for long enough. That's almost done. 90%. We're almost there. 91%. Ooh. Then we have another mealwood. Printables. Food? Wart seed, that's pretty good. Not food though. But I will take a free wart seed. So we need polluted water, which is coming. Coming, coming, coming. And there we go. So this will take four and a half cycles to grow, I think. And then it takes another four and a half cycles for a branch to grow. And then dupes, and then the, they can be happy to eat. So this does take a little bit of uh, time and effort. So let's uh, lay off that for now. Oh, we have a skill. Digging, I guess? You seem to like digging. Let's give you some digging. Once we have a mechatronics engineer, we can uh, start thinking of a way to store the food. Uh, actually, I'd like to clean this up so I can open this because I want dupes to be able to move through here. Oh, we have some idle dupes actually. So that's. Good, I guess. Let's uh, put a temporary. Right, that would bring it all the way up here. Just so that we can get rid of this pool down here. Because I don't like it. I should keep the dupes busy and I should clean up this pool so I can actually open up this uh, movement. It'll also allow like uh, any polluted oxygen that gets generated while dupes are over here to actually come down into the fern area and get turned into, well, oxygen. You know, that is the goal here. Okay, so what should we do next? Farming wants to make another farm. Uh, so from my understanding, these guys, if they get touched by the special evolution of these guys, uh, where are they? The, the grub grubs. They turn into a better quality food that gives more food and better quality food. But it takes a little longer to grow, I think, if I remember correctly. 
So I want to try that. I want to see if I can get that set up working. So I think that would be best to be done inside of a... Oh, we have some idle dupes. Really? This is all done? Oh, wow. That is all done already. That is... What? That was quick. Okay. So I guess next would be to... I want to see a little bit more what's going on up here. So let's dig our way up. Or... Or, or, let's not break into here because I don't want to start having water messes. And let's create a little area. That should keep them a little bit busy. That should show us what's going on up here. I know there's a little bit of polluted oxygen over here that got off gas and over here too so maybe this ice biome keeps going because that usually would mean that like there is some polluted oxygen that melted and that's what's off gassing here and here so i'm guessing maybe this keeps going maybe it's not an eight but like a bigger eight whatever you'd call that uh 19 not good enough yet and you guys are looking good Um, let's uh, open this thing up. This is all getting pumped up here, which will be get pushed in here. 98%, so actually I might have been wrong. I don't know how many more cycles there is left here, but 98% versus, ooh, no, I was not wrong. These spindles grub fruit will be done first. That is for sure. We, are we making any more of you? We might not need to. Let's hold off. Okay, now that we have these, people should be coming here and be like, let's pick you up. There you go. Give me some food. Some food. Hey, come on. It's not refrigerated over here. Okay, but we should be getting people to come pick this up. We don't have an actual dedicated farmer, so that's why it's a little inconvenient, I guess. Look okay, at that, we've explored some more, so now we have a better understanding of what's going on over here. Not, not really much more information though, nothing surprising, nothing interesting. Get some more food. No seeds though, which would have been nice. Oh, look at that. This is harvest ready too. What are you? Stop that. Okay. Yeah, see. They'll just use these seeds instead of for food, they'll use them for more berries. Stop that. Stop that. So, yeah, we're going to definitely need more mush bars. Look at that, we're actually making tofu. That's our first tofu. So I guess they didn't use all the seeds. Oh yeah, look, see, there's lots of seeds over here. So we didn't use all the seeds to plant. All the beans. 
the plant. We did use some of it for food. So that's nice, I guess. I don't know, I kind of feel like it might be better if we had planted more. But, uh, oh, well, you, we brought up high in calories, though, that's for sure. And we have all of these guys ready to harvest. And you're 50%, so that's not that bad. I wonder if we're gonna have some rotten food because of this. I guess this is a big spike of calories that uh, has no nice place so let's uh fix that temporary storage but we can uh put the food in here priority seven come on highest priority ignore this 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 eight doesn't count because this eight only applies to ranchers and only when i want them to ranch things so it's a very rare use case most of the time, I do not use an eight. That is for sure. Uh, let's see. We want to put this, this, uh, omelets, roasted tofu. Uh, is there anything else interesting in here? Uh, nope. That looks like about it. Unrefrigerated but sterile atmosphere, so that should be clean. Hey. You, I'm gonna wrangle you right now because you are bothering me. So much more than you should be. There we go. First wrangles. Bye-bye. These guys should be popping soon, right? 98, 96, 93. We have 20k cows, which is like four cycles worth of food, which is so much food. <laughs> Not really, but it's so much food. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my cat is uh, practicing her scratching. Yeah, yeah, talking about you. Okay, submit bioscan. Let's take care of this part. Chief looking at me every time I look at her. Like, what? Stop staring. Good, good, good. So, what you're supposed to do here is to have three dupes. One of them in each sensor. If you have that, this door will open. Or you can destroy this door. Those are your choices. But uh, if you want to do it the way that it was intended, move a dupe here, move a dupe here. That would, that would open up this door. Which then you can move one more dupe. Where's the other closest dupe? Move that dupe over here. I don't know. You have to stay here. Yeah. What? There, there's... Apparently, there is some... Uh... How? But how am I supposed to get through there? I can't dig that. But what? 
the security door has ore in it? What? So I have it working. I can't, but I can't get through because these doors don't work. What? Okay. Well, let's just do it the cheating way. Yeah, there's many ways to like. I want to actually do it the proper way. Okay. Well. Let's do it this way. Ah. Oh, yeah. Two pips in here, but still no food for them. So once they become groomed and tamed, they will be very unhappy that there is no food. What's that? Can someone move there? I don't think so. We'll need to build those to be able to have someone move in here. And it gives us some copper, which is nice. It's our first metal. Well, we have a printable. Food! Oh, you can actually just... You don't need this. Okay, well then, Bert. Get in there. Let's see what you bring us. Sunny disposition. The worst one. Thanks, kid. Thanks. Thanks so much. Okay, uh, let's start drawing this whole thing. Construct the ladder. We'll leave the floor that we will actually be, like, is already on the correct floor from the way uh, we have things structured. But otherwise, the rest of this just becomes obsidian that we can use and metals that we can use and ore that we can use. So that's cool. Yeah, look at that. We have lots of food now. Roast, run nut, tofu, omelets. Let's, uh... Let's not make any more fry, just because I don't want to waste that water. We don't use the we use the water to power the oxy furnace, which is the how we're getting rid of our carbon dioxide that we have right now. So it is still useful. Drink. That's enough. One moment. Take care of that for a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so this was temporary, and I'm a man of my word. So get rid of all that. And the wires. Something that was claimed to be temporary and was actually temporary. Uh, it is rare enough. Oh, sometimes, oh, it's only temporary. A, a thousand cycles later, it's still there. Like, yeah, uh-huh, sure. Temporary, uh-huh. That's not, I don't think that means what you think it means. We haven't found the, uh... oh, never mind. Why did I? Oh wow! I, I that was a brain fart right there. The output is here. The input is here. And I was like, this might be the output, but the output's here. I already knew where the output was, but I just never thought it through. I guess. So yeah, it it doesn't formulate. This doesn't stop here. It keeps going. How high it goes? Maybe all the way to the top. I have no idea. Okay, so this is Arbor Tree is growing. We're gonna destroy all this. 
Food's looking good. That's my skill point. Tinkering it is. You like tinkering. Okay, so I guess now that we have food under control a little bit, now that we had our first batch of uh, little problem with temperatures with you, don't I? But yeah, now that we've had our first batch of nosh sprouts, now we have the tofu and we have the roasted grub fruits as another source. I think we're in a pretty good state for food. Now we need to take care of water, right? Like now all this is depend the breaking point now will be water. This will only give us okay, this is done. So I guess now we can uh, start ranching. Do you see any uh, tips that I miss? <clears throat> Let me know. But uh, I don't see if there's any tips over here. No, oh, cannot wrangle because that's not a tip. There's a tip right here. Wrangle. Priority 8. <clears throat> wrangle priority 8. Okay. So, is there any more tips? I think that's all the pips that I have out in the wild. So there's only five pips. That's uh, less than I expected. Whee! It went down. So once we have all our pips in place, whoa, we're actually being able to break some branches. And uh, ethanol those killer it produces quite a bit of heat too. Alright, uh, some warm stuff. Like uh the oxygen producer, so my uh current oxygen to rust the oxidizer produces one point thirteen ADTUs. While the or that the ethanol distiller will produce by four point five KDTUs. That is some that is a lot of heat and a lot of carbon dioxide. It produces So much carbon dioxide. Not as much heat as a coal generator, but it's still a significant amount of carbon dioxide. Wood burner. Alright, uh, where is it? It was under refinement. Well, we should at least remember we need one of these is for five and this is 16 per row. So we would need three of these to sustain this setup and this takes 240 watts, so... And that's... And we could do a little bit of cleanup actually. Now that we are a little bit more stable. Let's uh, add some airflow tiles to increase the breathability of everything.
And we might want to create a centralized electric grid. Because right now we just have like three separate grids. We just plop down a grid as we need it. But uh, it would be nice if we had... Some actual dedicated grid instead of just plopped grids whenever we need it. I don't think that's asking for too much. So let's be a little smart about this. We're gonna go all the way over here. We have uh, storage for water. No, we do not. I know we're not researching anything. Where's my water storage? Uh, right down here. So let's get some water storage. So, we would put it inside of a water storage, and if it doesn't have anything, then we would put it over here. And assuming, I think the water storage entrance would be here, the exit would be here. Or right here. We need to disconnect this. Bridge here. So that this would take priority. And essence, what I'm trying to do is so that like anything that gets produced here would first would take first priority over anything that gets produced in here. So that we don't it's already in a pipe, right? It's already in a pipe. We don't want to dump it here and then you have to pay the extra electricity, put it back in a pipe, like it's already in the pipe. Just use it. So this would allow us to keep it already in a pipe and have it take priority over the pumped version of it while, if it, while also creating a backup storage and not using up too much space. Look at that, we have our first Production of ethanols. Look at that. How hot does it come out? Oh, 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 this stuff is hot. Oh my. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, oh, yes, not a good day. Well, these guys are not producing anything because they don't have any ethanol. But it is not a good day to be you know, oof. Okay, let's check out the skills first. I'm gonna have a stream of heat. We produce 60 degree ethanol, and we need to put that into a plant that needs to be under zero degrees. That is, oh, oof. Oof. that's gonna be that's gonna be a fun. Oh, okay, I'm making a tr almost mechatronics engineer. And you like farming, so let's give you some farming. Okay, and we have a print. Let's see what we got here. Another quick clip or some more food. Uh, let's get some more food. It's not the most important thing anymore, given that we have some. Our next batch of spindles are on the way. We have more than enough. 
Where is my oxygen? Oh, this is a mess. If we produce so much carbon dioxide. I forget to dig that out, I'm guessing. All that carbon dioxide has to fall down here before it gets processed back into oxygen. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be difficult. So, what are we doing on that research, guys? Well, we're doing okay. I guess I'm just being impatient. Oh, the temperature. Oh, yeah, that definitely... That definitely wins. Oh, that wins the fight. That wins. That kicks. But that kicks its butt so bad. You are not liking this. I mean, thinking maybe we need to start tapping into this coldness over here. Like, uh, we have food. Yeah, you can't keep up. Ah, sucks for you. i will just be running here the entire time. Can't keep up with the needs. This only generates 400 and these, yeah, it doesn't even power two of these. Uh, what we would need yeah this is not there you go some research and our next thing that we're going to research is starting to start building a power a power grid for that I want to start getting some real power. Oriented items. Okay, so now I have a liquid reservoir. Close. I thought that it would have been here and here, not here and there, but this should work nonetheless. But see, right now it's taking the, this blue, this ethanol, which is very hot, but still acceptable, and dumping it into the pool. But we still have to then pay to get that out into the pipe. While if we put it inside of here, then we don't have to pay to get it out into the pipe. Uh, on the other hand, it's very hot. But I might break everything. We'll see. Like the ethanol was already coming in pretty hot. Maybe we should uh, research some uh, radiant liquid pipes instead. Let's research that to try to equalize heat a little bit more. Let's see, if we were to make a farm here, we need to be up to here. It's not pretty though. But we can't really make one here. Up this giant stick here in my way. Hmm. 
Mm. Let me work with like. So yeah, this needs to be 96, right? The table is 96. So 96. First, start from here. 96 would bring us here. So we couldn't go through, we couldn't go up and down here. Unless I make something that's two layers high here. Let's try making something that's two layers high. here just yet we would still need a grooming station eating station how much space is that two three two three four plus uh, 60 and 60 that's 120 far too big if we were to get rid of these slots and this slot still far too big it doesn't need to be this high though right it could we could cut off all of this this would fit but if we did that then how big would this be? 28, 28, 29, 89, 91. Close. 91, 93, 95. 96 Hmm or 96 Do it this way this should be a full farm I mean a full stable Oh, but we need to let's put it here. Let's put the stable stuff here. There we go. So this should be a full stable. It provides us with, or we could probably be even smarter with our usage of space. Actually, we could probably be even smarter here. Okay, so we know this needs to be four because we'll need to put one of you here, one of you here, and one of you here, All right? So these don't need to be, as long as we can reach, right? So instead of putting the ladder here, what if we put the ladder here? You can have both. Okay, so, and how much space is this? Okay, so we have 18, 20, 38, 68, 69, plus three here, so 72, plus 
plus 42. Oh, that's too big. It's too big. Uh, but hey, it does, it does give us more. But 72. So this is 72. Plus 42 is 100 and... Or 114. So we would need to bring this... What if we bring it down here? So, sorry, I'm going to have to recalculate everything. Because uh, my memory's bad. 2. 20. Um, 30. 220, 38, 68, 69, 70, 98. Oh, too, too, wait, too, too much, too, too much. Actually, perfect. That actually looks pretty good, too. Looks pretty optimal for space. It provides us with... 9, 18, 20, 8, 31 food plots in the crater ranch. It looks good. I think this would work. And uh, this will keep us. And we can use the uh, fancy versions of these fruits. Over here. Assuming my math is correct, this should be the right size for what we want to do. Unless there's a way to do it better. Uh, but this, I don't see a way to do this better. This looks pretty good to me. No, that's not. That's not give the dupes more things to do, okay? I want them to focus on that. We're running. Well, we're, we're starting to run a little low on water, though, so maybe... Okay, we're out of lumber. That's good to know. Yeah, see, now their body temperatures are all gone cr crazy. Everything in one of them. Them ship plate. Out of ice. Good help resolve this. Yeah, as expected, we uh, went crazy there with a little bit too much heat for the, the food source. So now our food source here is almost completely um, failed. We need to uh, fix that. Do we have any more Weaswort seeds? We have one more. We should definitely leverage that. As much as we are isolated from here I still don't want to I don't want this place to heat up too much um, frying or joy seeds or oh Mary you stink uh, and Nira you're just not good at anything but yeah joy seeds like it was joy seeds all along So, we do need more dupes, though. We can actually support some decent amount of dupes, especially once this is done. Uh, we'll be able to support quite a bit of dupes. But next thing on our menu, uh, actually, I should add sulfur as something we track, since this is all sulfur-based food. So, we need to keep track of sulfur, you know. That will is what keeps our dupes alive. But we need to start looking into 
tackling this ice biome for this renewable water um, and trying to tackle that. Uh, that will definitely be next on the list. Yeah, I don't see any way around it. We need to start getting some of we need to start getting some of this water into our we don't actually use water for anything do we, we okay well we do use water okay yeah we use water for the oxy ferns which makes sense we don't use a lot of it what we really want is that polluted water which is not being produced right now because of all this brine that's in the way we're still producing brine so yeah it's definitely a concern okay so let's finish this up first and we will try to make more water out of nowhere thin air make water out of thin air that that's makes sense um what's more important we don't need any of the atomic so let's give you some more tinkering and you can carry more we want those strong muscles oh yeah so this is too big right now 97 oh 96 did i miscalculate oh i must have miscalculated oh no okay a lot of these are no panic. Relax. Let's uh, not assume I miscalculated just yet. So for you, I want... Weedles. We want sulfur. Do auto wrangle. Do we have auto wrangle set from here? No. Uh, let's. As soon as we have gassy moo, why is gassy moo even an option? Have we seen a gassy moo somewhere? Why would gassy moo even be an option? We don't. We don't start with gassy moo on this asteroid, do we? Oh. I think I saw. I don't think I saw. No, there's no gassy moo. They're being ridiculous. Okay, so let's see what the size of this thing is. 96. Perfect. I did not miscalculate. So once these guys turn into rub grubs. We can. What? Is... No. Oh, because we did not. We dug it, but we didn't build it. Uh... Make sure these are all priority six. Uh, make sure our priorities are set accordingly. Eight, seven, six. Six. Okay. So this should. Yeah, this should uh, create us. Once they turn into grub grubs, they'll be able to crawl on walls. So they'll be able to come through all the plants and turn them all into nice plants. And this should provide us a lot of food for our dupes. Good quality food too, once we cook it. Uh, we just need to survive until that point, which uh, hopefully you guys, our uh, nosh berries can help with that. Okay, so next, Let's tackle this. So down we go. I don't want to make a mess, so let's be careful about this. Okay. There we go. Six. And take a snapshot. Is 
this should allow us to go all the way down. It does suck that this brings us directly into here, so we'll need to find a way around it. Like that. It'll look a little bad, but this should at least bring us all the way down. Each one of these levels. We're just gonna dig this whole thing out. No survivors. Kilos, that's not that's not that much. Okay, so this should let them dig out the entire I don't know exactly what's here. So we'll wait a little bit before we start trying to dig anything here, but this should dig out the entire ice biome and allow us to start doing some work. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, that should work. seems happy we are oh wow this ice is still in place I was assuming this would melt by now it's so hot stuff the ethanol that's coming through here is just so hot I guess we need to start. We should start handling our uh, metals, I guess. We don't have any metals. We've never produced any metals. Yeah, aluminum is very good. Let's make a ton of aluminum. We take 50 a pop, though. Oh, they are. They're not cheap. Yeah, one, two, three, four. All of a sudden, I have no more metal. never did uh, actually plant you. Could be athletic primary dupes. We obviously don't want the one who stinks. Not interested in that. We don't need you. Um. 
Catalina. Yeah, I can see this. Okay. So let's set you up. Just a quick check. So building suit wearing. So priorities for you, Catalina, will be to supply and build. Your schedule will be put on the same one as Jean. And let's put your first skill into uh, improved carrying. There we go. Welcome to the club. Now we have one more bed to fill. Yeah, see, we're doing pretty good at digging this out. Don't need this, don't need that. We can analyze this, can't we? It's gonna be cold. But there is nothing technically stopping us from analyzing that. Oh, it is getting late. It's uh, midnight. I guess I'm gonna stop here for now. 50 cycles, not bad. Uh, we're still alive. <laughs> okay, I say we had 25,000 calories, but we're now down to 24, 23. Um, and we're having a little bit of temperature issues here, but you know, it's all fun. Uh, this should solve our food issues once this gets up and running. But uh, yeah, you're elderly and you are uh, elderly. You're happy and tamed and not elderly, so you're good. But we need to set this up. Let's cancel. Cancel. I want to prioritize setting up the grub fruit down here first. For any seeds that we get should go down here, not up here first, so that we can have these guys turn into the correct creatures. But yeah, so we need to tackle this. Should be straightforward enough. Uh, these are probably volcanoes, if I remember correctly. Yeah, minor volcanoes. That hasn't changed. And minor volcanoes just need to tackle these two things, turn this water into something useful. And then I guess we can tackle centralizing electricity and going to see the next asteroid, right? We can easily start digging our way up here to take a look at what's going on over here, but that will have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this has been fun. Uh, thank you, KMK, for chatting with me. I very much appreciated your being here with me uh, and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow uh, otherwise for everyone else thanks again and uh, bye for now oh don't forget to save no <laughs> Never. I, I guess auto save is uh, set to every cycle right let's just double check that yeah every cycle let's take that down it's not so bad now because you know um, it's not a lot to, not a lot happening, so saves are quick, but uh, yeah. Thank you, and have a good